Hey guys, welcome to a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the headphone jack is not working on a newer phone or if you have an older phone with 3mm headphone jack. We're going to go through the troubling shooting steps to hopefully fix that issue for you. So let's get started. So the very first thing when it comes to your headphones not working is so if you're wiring in your headphones and it could be simple as just making sure your volume levels are up. So how do you check the volume levels are up? Simply just press the volume up button, which is this top button right here on your uh, left hand side and you want to ensure that it's all the way up here and it could be simple as that sometimes you accidentally lower it and mute it and you're thinking the headphone jack isn't working but it could be just your sound isn't working so I do the same thing on an iPhone 6s which is the old 3.5mm uh, headphone jack and then anything above that as you know started using the actual charge port as the headphone jack so they're slightly different but exactly similar method can be applied to fix that issue so after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is check for any sort of dust or debris or pretty much anything that could lint or anything that can get into your headphone jack and that usually impacts both the charging as well but sometimes the headphone jacks are very more sensitive that you want to clean that out and can do that by shining a light and taking a look at it really closely i recommend probably using like a pick or something here i have a paper clip that i bended at a homemade solution you're going to simply go in there very lightly don't overdo it and see if there's any dust usually they build up over time when your phone's in your pocket for some time you can also do it similarly with the sim ejector tool or if you have a air can spray you can also use that air pressurized air to see if there's any dust but try to clean it out and you'll see you'd be surprised how much dust gets built up on there and the same thing can be applied on a three point millimeter headphone jack simply again look to see if there's any dust that could be potentially blocking that charge port of again headphone jack from not working but again the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so just simply clean it out as much as you can now, after you have done that the other thing you want to check is your headphones themselves so here i have the apple headphones but if you're using maybe a third party headphones you want to inspect that it's not the headphone itself and in order to do that try connecting the headphones you're connecting if you can to another device to make sure the headphone is working for sure on a device that actually works the other thing you can also try to check if it is the issue if you have a different pair of headphones try using it on your iphone that you're having issues with to see if that resolves the problem for you again it's just going through the basic troubleshooting step to figure out whether or not your headphone is the issue or the actual charge the actual charge port or the headphone jack itself is the issue now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is a force restart on your iphone so to do a force restart is going to be really simple for iphone 8 and above you're going to want to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then the hold the side button again it was volume up and volume down one after another and then i hold that side button which is done is forcing the phone to shut down completely and then once i see the apple logo reappear i will let go of that button so i'll let go of that button just like that and what i have done again shut down the phone completely reloading the code so if it's a software related issue that's impacting the headphone jack it will resolve that issue and this method will not delete any of your personal data now if you have a phone uh, like the iphone 6 6s or any of the ones that have headphone jacks or anything older than iphone 6s the process for a force restart is slightly different you're going to hold this wake or the sleep button and then the home button at the same time so what you'll do is hold these two buttons just like that like i'm holding as you can see here the home button and that side button and you're going to keep on holding Till you see the Apple logo reappear after it went black and that's doing a force restart there as well so those are a couple things you want to try in order to troubleshoot now the next thing you want to check out in the troubleshooting is that once your headphones jack is plugged in like this you want to pull down the menu from top here and for this airplay mode for playing you want to click on that and then verify that it's check marked to headphones and nothing else the same thing can be applied on the iphone 6s if you're connected instead of swiping down you're going to swipe upward to bring the control center and then click on that icon here and if your headphone is connected you want to check mark that it says headphones so that they're working properly now the other thing you want to check out in your settings here if you go in your settings here under the bluetooth devices so settings of bluetooth devices you want to ensure that your iPhone isn't connected to external 
speaker or headphone or wireless headphone that could be impacting the audio from not working through your wired headphones and that could happen and if that's the case if it says connected simply click on whatever the headphone that may be you can forget that device or simply make sure that it's disconnected which will be another option so if you're going to forget it you can click on that and that will disconnect it or you can simply even turn off bluetooth here if you're looking to use the a wired headphone jack so another troubleshooting step you want to go ahead and do now after you have done that and you're having issues it's time to go ahead and update your phone to the latest software version it can be updated to in order to do that again we're going to be in settings here and then go to general and then software update and look to see if there's a software update available make sure you're connected to the internet and important thing is your phone should be at least 50 percent or more for the update to be able to successfully get downloaded what you'll do is there's an update available go ahead and download and install the update itself and hopefully if it's a software glitch or bug going on it will resolve for your issue now if you have done all of that and you know that your head wired headphones is you know working correctly they don't have any issues and you can't get the headphone jack to work it's most likely actual hardware issue in that case you'll have to get apple support to take a look at it at the apple store or authorized retail um, repair shop where they can actually inspect it to see if it's actually the hardware and resolve that issue for you so i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time